what were you doing when the ground started shaking? Oh, it was a cold February morning, and I was uh, in the governor's office. It was late in the morning. Wednesday, February 28th, 2001, 52nd day. A day of debate on the Senate floor. Clarifying incentives for purposes of certificated staff supplemental contracts. You are all Students from Mongolia were in the middle of a tour with Supreme Court Chief Justice Jerry Alexander. And then it hit. That's a big quake. And the lights went out, and we were sitting in the dark, and the building shaking, and we all yelled, earthquake! State Archivist Steve Excel, remember the governor's office had an old vault. It's an office now, but that day, it was shelter. It has very thick walls, and it has a big steel door. So four of us went to the bank vault door and had a group hug. The hundreds inside state buildings ran to safety. Legislative work came to a halt. But assessing the damage began immediately. As soon as we realized it was an earthquake, um, the, uh, the team that I managed um, put on their hard hats and raced across the campus. At the time, Pat McLean was in charge of a team already working on a planned renovation of the Capitol. The quake brought down light fixtures and photographs. Decorative columns cracked. Pieces of the ceiling were on the desks of lawmakers below, but no one was seriously injured. Engineers, though, quickly found out the Capitol suffered serious damage. The seismic engineer uh, told me that the dome itself, the, the structural dome uh, and the colonnade, actually slightly lifted and reset itself three quarters of an inch off uh, center um, as a result of the earthquake. You didn't have to be a seismic engineer to spot signs of the shifting and cracking after the dome lifted and rotated. The dome sat on top of the columns and they just held in place. There were no, no bolts or anything. It was just put on top. That's the way they did it in those days? That, well, and when you think about it, all that weight and what's it going to, I mean, it was, you know, it was all centered and balanced. And so it was just going to sit there. Um, they hadn't, they hadn't thought about an earthquake. Years before the 2001 quake, the state had already been working on plans to retrofit the Capitol, but state lawmakers were reluctant to abandon the building. That was not a problem after that Wednesday morning, though. There was a real motivation on the part of people who were in the building to leave and uh, not come back until it was safe. Work quickly began on a $120 million renovation. The dome is now attached to the support columns. And so we had to secure those by an uh, uh, interesting new technique of drilling down through each of the centers of those um, columns, putting rebar down, and then uh, pouring concrete in afterwards and then linking the, the bottom of the column and the top of the column um, to the, the support so that in the future, the columns won't move. Repairs and renovations happened following quakes in 1949 and 1965. McLean said the state was told the work following the 2001 quake would enable the structure to withstand an 8.0 magnitude earthquake. We had no clue whether that dome was going to continue standing or whether it was going to collapse. 20 years later, Steve Excel still works on the Capitol campus. He feels much safer now, but he's still shaken by those memories. It's like those big seminal events like 9-11, uh, the moon landing or the Kennedy assassination. If you were alive during those days, you remember exactly where you were and exactly what happened. And that was very much what that Wednesday was like. Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.